Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can set up the DB, how we can make the configuration and all, right? So now let's start with that. So first of all, I'm just going to show you that what we are going to do in this video. So we are, we are going to do a basic configuration of the database and we will fetch some data of uh, database in our controller. So first of all we will make the configuration of the database so we will uh, set the username password and the uh, database name and after that we have to check the database that uh, table name and all in the php my admin and uh, after that i will make a controller and a router and then i will write some code for the database and fetch the data all right so first of all just select uh, make the configuration i'm just going to zoom out some my editor so for that you have to go uh, check out the two files first of all you have to check the uh, database.php file inside the configuration and here you will find that there is a lots of configuration is here but you will see that the, there is a array of mysql and here you will see that the configuration is coming from some env function what is that so that is uh, that we are uh, we don't have to put the database name directly here we can put here also but this is not as per the standard of the laravel so we have to put inside the env file so where we can find the env file you will find the env file on your root all right so there is a env file if this is uh, not present in your uh, uh, root folder then you can make uh, make from here or uh, I am definitely sure if you don't don't have the .env file then you make sure you you have a .env file and you can rename it all right so I'm just going to put here my database name so uh, my database name for that I'm just going to check the PHP my admin and my database name is a YouTube here so I'm just going to put here YouTube all right and the user uh, database username is the root and the password in my case password is red hat one two three in your case it can be blank or it can be anything else all right so please uh, be sure that your password should be correct also so the configuration is ready now the uh, the host is a local host here all right so configuration is ready but after doing the configuration in the root env you must have to start your uh, PHP artisan so I'm just going to restart it right so it's working fine so just open the link here okay so now what I have to do uh, we did the two things and now we have to make the controller and the router so I'm just going to make a controller with the PHP artisan and guys if you don't know about how uh, how controller actually works and how actually routes work router work then you can watch a previous video link is given inside the description box so PHP artisan make controller and controller name so my controller name is users and I'm just going to hit the enter and here you will see that we got the uh, controller inside the app HTTP and controllers and here alright so after that I have to just uh, I'm just going to echo something like echo we are here and uh, I'm just going to make a router and for making the router I have to go inside the routers and app.php right so I think there is some mistake yeah I first of all I have to write a function and then uh, let's say my function name is check db right so here I can echo simply here that's fine now there is a no error so now I'm just going to set up the route and just write here get and my route name is DB simply and my controller name is users at the rate uh, DB check alright and just put the semicolon at the end alright so I'm just going to confirm the DB check function yep this is fine check db okay sorry that is a check db okay uh, so this is also done now uh, let's come at the last thing now I have to write the code for uh, 
uh, mysql and before that i am just going to check the db controller and it's working fine all right so for that i am just going to write here code but before that i have to choose on one namespace here which is the use illuminate support and this is a facet and at the last i have to use the db yep yep so we just uh, use this uh, we can use this inside our function also so i'm just going to uh, get the data so i'm just going to simply write here dollar user equal to db select select star from table name so what is my table name so for that i'm just going to check here user is my table name and there is a two data the name of anil and bruce so i'm just going to check here so sorry up uh, test and now let's check it yep uh, and i have to show that i just have to print print it dollar user so now let's check it yeah but i think my table name is uh, user right this right here user and now let's check it so now you can see that we got the data here if i am just going to comment it out you will see only the data which is coming from the database this is the username and email and all so if you are guys seeing that this is the array and you want to print it inside the json then you just simply have to write a return and in the return just write here dollar user right and you will see that now you are just getting the data inside the json format so thanks for watching this video it's all about the basic things so don't worry about that i just put here query in the next upcoming video i will tell you that more smaller ways and more nicer and smart ways of getting the data from the database i will tell you the more queries i will tell you the eloquence and model and all so i hope you enjoyed this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel